Speaking at his offices today, Mutasa Kafel said he might contemplate pulling out of the plans if the Thursday meeting does not iron out the dispute. I don't, I don't think why I shouldn't. But uh, as, I, like, as I've told you, me, I don't care who, who is who. Because me, I know them as Muslims. And I don't even understand why they have that difference. The dispute was sparked off by a faction of the Tablik sect that sits at Wilson Road Mosque, who besieged the mosque yesterday on suspicions that the redevelopment plans are in ruse to sell off the property. <laughs> As a human being, I was scared, but I remained firm on the cause. I think it is because of their uh, personal envy, envy between themselves. But Mutasa Cafe claims he rightfully acquired the lease to the property from its soon landlords. And this is why we put this thing at 75 years. We are looking at how do we reap out this money. Because we are, we, are be, we are putting up a structure that may consume close to 5 billion. If anything, Mutasa claims the latest wrongs has served to delay his plans. This thing is supposed to have started in, 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 in April when we entered into that agreement. I even went as far as uh, renting a place in the adjacent building of Untaki. The whole floor is being paid from April. I'm paying millions of money every month. However, he hopes for a positive outcome out of the Thursday meeting, which will also be attended by all Muslim lawmakers from Kampala district. Let's have an understanding, in fact, a binding understanding. If you don't build a mosque within this span of time, then this thing will revert to this group as an undertaking, which I'm ready to do. Today, the Nakasolo Mosque remained calm, although police were still deployed there to maintain security. Julius Senkandwa. NTV 11.